Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my current everyday glam look. I have been loving this look and I love doing everyday makeup. That's why I update you guys every couple of months on new products that I'm loving and just like the routine. I feel like makeup like this is really practical and it's super simple. So it's everyday makeup appropriate because it's long wearing, it's fresh, it's simple. It usually takes me like 10, 15 minutes, but it's also a little glam with the lashes and everything. But you guys know me, I always have to be a little extra. But yeah, it's gonna be a super relaxing video. We're just gonna be hanging out together and just doing some everyday glam. So I hope you guys enjoy grab a snack and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and let's get into some everyday makeup okay so this time I'm actually starting with no makeup fresh face I normally do my brows first but I figured we would do everything from start to finish in today's video so even though honestly I'm still using a lot of the same brow products from my last everyday makeup routine but I mean I love them they're great so like you know if it's not broken don't fix it so I'm gonna go in with the NYX micro brow pencil this one's in the shade of black and this is truly like my favorite drugstore brow pencil it's really good it's 10 bucks comes in eight different shades and I love the formula of this so I'm just gonna use this to outline the brows And then for pomade, I'm just gonna use my Reina Rebelde Eye and Brow Paint in the shade Frida. This is really good. I literally have had this thing since the summertime and I love it. I just really love the color of this one specifically because it's like the perfect dark shade for like my hair and my brows. So I'm just gonna use my angled brow brush. This one is from Profusion and I'm just gonna fill in the rest of my brows. Just with brows alone, I feel so much more put together. Next thing I'm gonna do is go in with the NYX Full Coverage Concealer. This one's in the shade Beige. I love this for cleaning up the brows. It's great. It actually, I just saw it. It's available on Walmart's website directly. They have a couple other colors, but I'm in the shade Beige and it's the perfect shade. It's just a good concealer. I've been using this for probably, I think four or five, maybe even six years at this point, And it's great. I always go back to it. All right, brows are done. Now we can jump into the eyes. So the eyes are usually really simple. So sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. It really just depends on how much time I have or like if I'm feeling it or not for the day. I usually take any palette that has like brown tones in it. I'm currently using the Wild Child palette from ColourPop. This one is great. The tones are beautiful. You can create a lot of really nice looks with this palette and it's so affordable. And really you could do this with any eyeshadow palette, any color you want. Sometimes I do black, brown, like it really just depends. But today I'm gonna use this dark brown color. It's really pigmented, so be careful. Basically, I'm just gonna do a little smoky shadow with that color so I just take the color it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna blend it out in just a minute but I kind of apply it on the lash line a little bit and then I use the other side of this brush this is from it cosmetics it's the heavenly luxe brush shadow brush on one side and like a smudger on the other I'm sure elf has like something similar to this this is just the brush that I'm using but any little fluffy brush will work and I'm just gonna take that and kind of just blend it out. I like doing this because it kind of just looks like a messy smoky eye and I feel like for everyday makeup I don't know it's just something about it I really like some days I use an eye primer some days I feel like I really don't since I'm not doing like a full-on eyeshadow look I don't really have issues with this like not lasting or anything throughout the day if I'm doing obviously like more glam and like more eyeshadow I will use an eye primer always but for today and whenever I do this look I usually don't and that is pretty much it. It's basically kind of just like a little messy, smoky eye. Sometimes I will do a little wing with the eyeshadow as well. It really just depends on what I'm feeling. And some days I won't do this at all and I'll just go straight into mascara and false lashes. It really just depends on what I'm feeling. But lately I do love doing this. And then I'll also drag the eyeshadow under here just to conceal any of my fine lines that I have. I'll show you guys later on. And then for mascara, I'm really liking this one from Ilia. It's the Limitless Lash Mascara. This is really nice because it actually lasts all day. It doesn't flake or clump, but the formula is great. and. It's a very lengthening mascara, so I really, really like this. I feel like it does get really hard these days to spend a lot of money on a mascara because there are so many great drugstore ones. But yeah, I like it. I'm gonna use it just because I have it. For lashes, these have been my go-tos, the Lily Foaming Lashes in the Style Miami. You can reuse these, they are pricey, but they're just the ones that I've been using. They just open up your eyes so much. And they're very glam, very long and wispy, but I feel like still very wearable for every day. So I've been loving these lashes. It's pretty much like all that I've been using, to be honest. But if you guys are interested, I do have a video on like my favorite go-to like drugstore and affordable lashes. So definitely check that out. Cause I really don't spend a ton of money on lashes usually. Like this is definitely a 
splurge and I just ended up falling in love with these lashes. But the drugstore has amazing options. Kiss Salon Perfect, I lore. Also, usually what I do with like while I wait for my lashes, I either start prepping my skin for foundation or I'll just kind of do little touch-ups that I may need, like maybe on my brows or like in this case, my lid right here. It looks a little bit kind of red pinkish. And that's because I've had this dry patch, which it's actually like gone down quite a bit, but it still sometimes leaves a little bit of like redness behind. So I'll just use my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush, which is the brush that I used earlier to clean up the brows. And since it has some leftover concealer on it, I just take that and kind of just rub that right in the crease a little bit just to lighten up the lids if there is any little bit of redness. Then I'm just gonna use a black liner up on the upper lash line and I'm just gonna line that. I always like to do this just because it makes your lashes and like on the lash band look a little bit more seamless. And this liner, I didn't even tell you, it's the Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil from Essence. It's so good. I think it's like three or four dollars, but it's super creamy. It just glides right on and it just emphasizes the lash band. It makes everything look super, super black and dark at the root. So I love that. And that is pretty much it for the eyes, honestly. It's just so simple. So now my favorite part is the skin. So I'm gonna do a little primer water with the Milani Fruit Fetish Dragon Fruit Peach Scented Setting Spray. Super hydrating. It smells nice and you can use it before or after your makeup to set. Ooh, feels so good. I have actually a couple Milani products. They have been killing it lately. I love their new stuff. So speaking of them, I have the Supercharged Dewy Primer. This has been like my go-to everyday primer. It is so creamy and hydrating. It basically looks kind of like a moisturizer, but it's a really good dupe for the Smashbox Primerizer because it looks and feels like a moisturizer, but it also makes your makeup last all day. So I really love it. I love the texture and consistency of it, so. It's also like kind of citrusy, so it has a really nice refreshing scent. So this is not gonna fill in your pores. It's really just super hydrating. And again, it's just gonna make your makeup last because it does leave a little bit of like a tacky finish, but it's not like sticky or like glittery or overwhelming on the skin. It's just great for every day. Like I said, I use it with lots of different foundations and I love it. For foundation, you guys definitely put me onto this. So this is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. I love this. So I've had this foundation in my collection for quite some time. I tend to use it kind of like on and off in a lot of like my videos, but I recently did a video where I tried like your current high-end favorites and so many of you guys love this foundation ever since that video, which was at this point, I think like three or four weeks ago. I have been using this a ton and it's super long wearing it has great coverage, especially with a mask. I love it because it really honestly doesn't transfer much and it's just so beautiful on the skin. It's like something about this, it's amazing. So I have mine in the shade 115 light medium. The shade range is also really good. I do about a full pump and it covers my entire face. And I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. avocado sponge. Look at how seamless it is. I love it. To me, the coverage is, I would say, very good medium coverage. You can build it up if needed. It's still very skin-like, but Again, it's super, super long wearing. So now for the under eyes, another Milani product. This is the Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint in the shade 120 Peach. It's not gonna be a super intense brightening under eye corrector, but it's nice. Like it's perfect for every single day and it's super creamy. So I usually just put some right on the back of my hand and then I just take my ring finger and just apply that. Just blend that in. You can see it is really nice and hydrating also. For concealer, I am still loving this one from Rare Beauty. I especially love it with the under eye corrector. Like the combo is really nice because this isn't super full coverage, but with the brightening corrector that I used, I feel like I don't need like an excess amount of coverage. And both of the products just kind of balance each other out perfectly. And this formula is amazing. I think this is the perfect everyday concealer. I have mine in the shade 200C. It is so natural, so creamy, and I just, I love the way it looks under my eyes. If you want a little extra coverage, you can always have the concealer sitting on your skin for about like a minute or two. You can definitely do that with this concealer. I've done it many times because the formula is so creamy. I recommend doing it with something that's more dewy or natural, depending on how much time I have. Depends on if I do that or not, but look at that. Like it just melts into the skin. And 
and I love just the coverage, but still very breathable, very fresh. Now we're gonna go in with some cream blush. This one is the NYX Sweet Cheek Soft Cheek Tint. This one is beautiful. So how I use these is I like to apply the product directly on the back of my hand, and this one kind of looks like a liquid lipstick, but it's such a beautiful like mauve -y nude tone. They have a bunch of other colors in these as well, but I pretty much just take that with my Fenty 125 face brush, of course. I know it's expensive, but it's so good. And I'm just gonna take that and just start pressing that right into the skin. Just gives you the most beautiful, soft cheek tint, just like the name implies. If you're just starting to get into cream blushes, you will love these from NYX. The formula is very natural, but it's very easy to work with. This is like the epitome of like, you know, your crush just texted you and you're blushing a little bit and it's cute. It's like natural, it's fresh. And then I'm gonna go in with the powder. I'm using the Haley's Retouch Soft Focus Setting Powder. So Haley's actually just redid their packaging on this powder. It's still the same exact beautiful, amazing powder that I love. It's just different packaging and I'm obsessed with it. It's so pretty. You guys already know my love with this powder. It's my favorite. So this is the combo that I've been doing. This with this other powder over top, which I'll show you in a minute. And I'm just gonna set my face. But I'm gonna start with my under eyes first. I'm gonna just concentrate the product first with this little brush like right on my t-zone and then I'll go in with a fluffier brush just to add powder to the rest of the face. Let me set the brows because I feel like I'm gonna forget. So I have the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara that I love. Let me know down below if you guys actually use them. Like do you swear by them like I do because I feel like I cannot like do my makeup without a tinted brow mascara. Like I feel so incomplete and I really believe that they work. Like at least in my experience, I've had so many times where my brows are literally melting off like the brow tails in the summer if I don't set them. So for me, this is like, not negotiable like I need to set my brows okay now this is key for me so the Haley's powder I love but it's not a very brightening powder it's just a really beautiful setting powder that's very smoothing so I like to go in with the bare minerals concealer this is a powdered concealer in the shade well rested I've been raving about this ever since I don't even know like how long like two three months but I'm obsessed with this stuff because it's a natural under eye brightening 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 powder it also looks beautiful in pictures but it just gives you this really subtle natural highlighted look depending on how much you use if you want a brighter look use more if you want something a little bit more subtle use less because it definitely does brighten and i'll show you guys the difference in just a minute you'll see look at that difference i personally like to do this after like kind of like as a topper because the haley's powder is really really smooth so going in with this over top it's gonna still keep like that smooth appearance on the skin it's just gonna really brighten you could totally use a bright concealer or like any really brightening powder but something about this like as a topper it's just so pretty and i think it's because i'm pairing it with the haley's powder but i've also done this with other powders and it looks really really good but yeah you could go in with a lighter concealer i just i like the look of this because i feel like it looks a little bit more smooth and natural ish i don't know it's really preference definitely like extra but i love that little extra oomph that it gives to your eyes it just makes your eyes look a little bit more alive or your under eyes, I should say. I've tried doing a lighter concealer at times, but I feel like when you set your products and everything, it still sometimes doesn't look as bright as what I would like, so that's why I like this kind of trick doing it over top of the Haley's powder. Now we're gonna do a little bronzer, blush, and highlight, and this has been pretty much the only palette that I've been using. I love it because it's all in one. It's so pigmented, the quality is incredible. This is the BH BFF Alondra and Elsie Snatched Face Palette. I love it. So packaging is ideal because it's really sleek and simple to travel with, and you can see you get two bronzers, a blush, and a highlighter, which is pretty much, like I said, all that I've been using. So I'm gonna go in with Latina and Skinny Legend. I'm just gonna mix the two. Comes with a little mirror too, which I love. I'm just gonna go in, set. Or actually, I didn't use cream bronzer yet today. I, I Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but just basically bronzing the skin. So pigmented. I'm also gonna do some right on my chest. If my chest is ever exposed, I usually just like to add a little bit of bronzer there. And then I'm gonna use the color You're My Person, which is just the blush in here. It's a really natural, kind of like rose color, but again, it actually like shows up very pigmented. So I normally just like barely dip my brush in because look at that color. <laughs> it's intense, so be careful. 
me just go in and kind of buff that out a little bit because that was that was a lot but it blends in really nicely just be careful of how much you're using i normally just apply the blush and kind of stipple it upwards to blend in towards my bronzer so it doesn't look like the two little circles on your cheeks. Then I'm gonna use the highlighter in the color Sheen in here and I'm just gonna use a little bit of this because this is also very intense. And I just use like a little tiny bit and sometimes just like blend it in with my fingers. Right above my lip. Do a little bit of my chin. Sometimes I do too much and it's like, um, hello chin. Also, I'm gonna take this color and I forgot to grab a little tiny eyeshadow brush, but sometimes I do this too. I just pop that color right in the inner corners. I'm just gonna use my finger. Just like that and it just brightens and this is the prettiest color. You could even use this as an eyeshadow too. Like it's gorgeous. Now for the eyes, I'm gonna jump back into the Wild Child palette. I'm gonna take the same color Feisty from earlier. I'm just gonna use that same brush that I was using. Just helps to conceal these fine lines. And again, it just kind of adds to that smoky look. On the waterline, I'm gonna use the ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner in the shade Sunnyvale. It's just like a really beautiful brown. I'm gonna coat those lower lashes. Okay, now for lips. I always use the lip liner. I tend to swap these out. I usually use ColourPop or NYX. So a color that I've really been loving is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil. This one isn't so happy. It's like a mid-tone peachy nude. And these are like one of my favorite formulas ever. It's so creamy. Now, with this look, I love either just a regular lipstick or a liquid lipstick. I haven't been wearing a ton of gloss lately just because normally, you know, you're wearing a mask or whatever. I'm normally wearing these two or also my Oma Beauty lipstick in the shade Eartha. That's like my favorite, like one of my favorite cool tone nudes. But I'm either wearing the Artist Couture lipstick in Saucy Gal. It's like the epitome of like the perfect kind of brown neutral nude. It's so creamy. Like, look at that shade. I love it. I still have the same lipstick from like a year ago and I don't know how. I still have some left because I use this almost every single day. So this will forever be a favorite, but I also love the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Super Natural. So I think I'm gonna use this today. Dose of Colors has amazing quality liquid lipsticks. I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about liquid lips that much, but I think now, especially with a mask, they are ideal and these are very comfortable and they come in beautiful shades. One layer is all you need. These are just amazing. And I feel like when you think of liquid lipstick, you think, okay, it's gonna be dry, it's gonna crack, but these are just so comfortable. And then I just kinda go back in with the lip liner to like blend in the color and just make everything look really seamless. And I'm just gonna go in and set my makeup. I have my extra large Make It Last setting spray. This is my favorite drugstore setting spray. I also love, of course, this one, which I used earlier to prime the skin. I feel like this is more refreshing. It does make your makeup last. It's kind of like the original, but it's like scented. But I just, something about the original Make It Last, I love so much for actually setting my makeup and keeping everything in place. And I love this ginormal bottle. You can get it usually at Walmart at the Supercenter or online, of course, but I love it. I'm gonna spray my makeup and then that officially completes this look. And then after everything has settled into the skin and dried, I normally just go back in and blend everything out one last time with my duo fiber brush. This one's actually from ColourPop. It's the F14. It's just like a little stippling brush. And that is officially it for this look. So that completes this go-to glam look. I hope you enjoyed it. I love all these products together and I have a pretty good mixture of drugstore and high-end, like mostly drugstore and affordable stuff. There are a couple like more like expensive splurges in here, but they're all great products nonetheless. So if you guys are looking into shopping for some new everyday makeup products, these are definitely it. So check them out. I will link all the products that I use down below in the description box and that is it. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.